Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. I'm your host, Ashley, and we are here with another Saturday Lingo lesson. And this is kind of a combined one because it is a statistic, but it's also a fun phrase. And today we are going to talk about lobsters and not just like pinchy pinchy, mate for life, that stupid friends joke, you're my lobster. Anyway, you guys might be too young for friends jokes. Oh God, I'm ancient. Um, really what we're going to talk about today is the idea of being left on base and this is often referred to as a lobster or lobsters when more than one player are frequently left on base throughout a game. So what does left on base mean? Well, it's a pretty literal one and it can either be considered in terms of a team statistic or an individual player statistic. And it basically measures the frequency with which base runners have been literally left on the base without scoring runs. Now, if we're measuring it in terms of an individual player's value or what they bring to their team, their left on base percentage represents how many times they have come to bat with runners in either scoring position or on first base basically men on the plate and they have failed to bring those runners across with an RBI. Basically, how many times do they strike out rather than scoring the base runners that have been put into play before them? In the case of how we would look at it for the team, it refers to the number of men who have been left on base in that particular inning. Um, so it can actually be measured throughout a game as to how many men who were in scoring position or on base that were never scored by another batter on that team. Now, overall, it's not a stat that really measures how good or how bad particular players or teams are because it's very circumstantial and it can change from game to game. However, if we're really looking at a team over the course of a season, you'll find that the better teams or the teams that have had more success and the players that have had more success will have lower left on base rates than those who are kind of at the bottom of the heap. And that's because those players or teams are doing a better job of bringing those runners home. And the more runs you score, the better your run differential. I'm going to throw that video up top and the better your opportunity to win those games. So teams that score their runners more are far more likely to win games. Now, the phrase lobster, of course, is just kind of a play on words. It doesn't really have a specific origin. It's just something that folks kind of picked up and started using. And you might see, you know, lots of lobsters in that Pirates game last night or lobsters everywhere in that Marlins game, meaning that they got a lot of base runners, but unfortunately were never able to score any of them. And this indicates a lot of poor performance from other batters on the team in order to score those runners. So you definitely don't want a team that has a lot of lobsters because it means that they probably didn't score very many runs. So there you go guys, left on base, lobster. It's a good lingo lesson for the day and I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give it a big thumbs up down below if you did and had you ever heard this phrase before? Did you ever see it in any recaps or on Twitter? Let me know and while you're down there hit that subscribe button and remember to ring the bell if you want to be notified every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday when a new episode goes live. And of course, as always, you can follow me on social media where I'm at 90 feet from home on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. One of these days I will actually like train myself to say it the proper way it is in the graphic or get a graphic made that matches the way I say it. We'll see. Maybe in season two. Who knows? Anyway, hope you guys have an awesome day. We'll see you back next time.